It is time now to see what's clicking in Cleveland. For that, we bring in our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. Hey, Steph. Hello, Jay. Hello, Betsy. And we do start today with the end of an era in Coventry Village. A long-standing record store is closing in stores after 55 years. On Facebook, the owners of Record Revolution said they came to the decision with a heavy heart. The owners thanked their customers for supporting them for so long and invited people to post pictures, come into the shop. They said, come say hello or goodbye, give a hug, a handshake, or a wave, and know that you've been part of something truly special and that you will be missed. So the shop will be open Monday through Saturday from noon to 7 and Sunday from noon to 5 until it closes for good, and that will be on December 31st. Now in high school football news, the Ohio High School Athletic Association will hold its state football championships starting on Thursday at Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium in Canton this weekend. So this year, four Northeast Ohio teams are in the running, and one of them is going after its first state championship in school history. That's Cleveland Glenville in Division Four. In Division One, we have St. Edward, Archbishop Hoban is in Division Two, and Kirtland is up for Division Six. And you can read more about those matchups on WKYC.com. All sure to be good games. Now for a question of the day. It is Giving Tuesday today. That's an unofficial day of giving and generosity that a lot of people take part in after a weekend of serious shopping. So we asked our viewers how they're giving back today, and we got lots of answers on the WKYC Facebook page and in the What's New Facebook group. Here's one of the big ones. Charities that support pets, very popular. Also, a lot of mentions for groups that honor veterans and military members and give them help that they need. And groups that support children with illnesses. So, you know, it's great to see these donations being made for good causes. And this is a good time for a reminder to Jay and Betsy that lots of companies like ours, Tegna, they've got a matching program. True. So you can make that money go further if you check in with your employer and see if maybe they can do a matching for your donation. So we just had a story about the Akron Regional, Akron Camp Regional Food Bank with the double dollar day yeah. on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So you donate, you get the double dollar day, and then you put in with your company. The company makes the donation and so basically it's three times as much. Right. I love that. Really way to stretch that dollar and yeah. do as much good as you can. At the best time when it's really the need is at its biggest. Um, back to the record store. Imagine how many thousands of young teens ran through that front door with so much excitement with $5.50 in their hand and they're going to get that hot new album from their favorite artist. We need to put a decade on that because um, <laughs> you never did that. The hot teens like now have yeah. no clue what the heck you're talking no. about. No. Absolutely, which is why they're going out of business. But right. back in the good old days, I remember saving my allowance and going to the record store with so much excitement. I was going to own that album. We had just moved to cassettes when I was a teenager. I remember those the records too. records were mm -hmm. going out. What a shame. Get your pencils Disc ready. Man. Thanks, Steph. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Here's the transition. <laughs> There's no 8-track in between us. <laughs> no, I, I, my parents had an 8-track. I remember that. Yeah.